Hi, good morning. So I'm pretty sure the women's prize long list has just been put up. Let's see what it is. This is going to be a super quick little thing because the dishwasher is running and I am obviously not ready for the day. <laughs> so let's do the initial look at the list and then I'll come back and talk through it a little bit. Okay, I just saw a picture and immediately I saw one of the, I saw the author of one of the books that was definitely highly predicted to be on the list, but let's find the actual long list. I guess this will be good because I'll know how to pronounce people's names and stuff as we listen to this, so maybe it's a good thing to be doing it through video. A Trace of Sun, I've never heard of it, and it was, I don't think, on anybody's predictions list. Restless Dolly, oh, that's funny. This was on, I think, one person's prediction list. I don't know anything about it, but I'm excited. Okay, River East, River West. This was definitely on people's predictions list. I, um, it was what I think this was listed for the Booker Prize Western Lane. I have actually read this one, so that means I'm not gonna have to read 16 books. The Blue Beautiful World, never heard of it. Very cool. Hmm? No, nope, haven't heard of this one either. A historical thriller, interesting. Okay, the Ren the Ren. Definitely on a lot of people's predictions or lists. Uh, In Defense of the Act, again, one that I have never heard of. I, I'm going to have to go through my list of all the predictions that I've written down and see if any of these were put on. Okay, Ordinary Human Feelings. Actually, this is one that I was really curious about in the predictions list, so I'm kind of glad to see it. Um, it'll just get pushed up to the top of my TBR. I'm looking forward to reading this one. And then she fell. I think was on a couple of people's predictions. Hangman, I believe, was also on a couple of people's predictions. I'm not, no idea what it's about. Okay, Soldier Sailor, very much. It's actually not a book that I particularly want to read. It's stream of consciousness and it's about motherhood, two things that I have no interest in reading, but Night Bloom definitely was part of Pretty People's Predictions list and I think it could be a really good one. Enter Ghost, okay, they did go Enter Ghost. I know there was some discussion about whether or not the Women's Prize would choose a Palestinian author, but it did have a lot of people predicting it. Oh, interesting. I wanted to read this and only one person had it on their predictions list and I thought it sounded fascinating. Oh, I'm so excited that this book is on here. To whoever it is that predicted it, I'll try to put your name somewhere. Good job. Brotherless Night. I haven't heard of it. Well, okay. So there is the initial list or the long list. I am going to go through the list again. I'm going to immediately see what I can get from my library and I will check in with you when I have more to say and I am slightly more put together. <laughs> okay guys, cheers. We're back. To do just a little bit more breakdown of my reaction to this list. Overall, I'm super excited about it. There are one or two books that I'm not as keen to read, but I will still get to them. Hopefully at some point anyways. One of them I think is going to be really hard for me to get my hands on, but I will get to that. Another observation is it seems like we're really kind of traveling around the world with a lot of these books. There seem to be a lot of different places being written about, a lot of different people's experiences, and that's awesome. There also seems to be a bit of a mix of genres, which is always good. Um, but also still kind of touching on a lot of the more maybe classic themes that the Women's Prize seems to really enjoy. Namely, like motherhood is obviously a really big one. There's always a couple about that. Grief, there's always a couple about that. But oh, 
ultimately I'm really really excited about this list and in watching I've only watched two reaction videos it seems like there are certainly a number of books on this list that nobody had really heard of before and that's always really awesome too I'm not really sure debut authors I don't know I think there's one at least but I don't know how many debut novels are on here either way I'm gonna do what I can to get my hands on them but let's go through them a little bit more detail and then I guess get to reading <laughs> is the goal isn't it so first let's talk about the one book that I have read and that is Western Lane by Chetna Maru I read this because I was trying to read through a lot of the I think just the Booker Prize and it, it's not a favorite for me but I know a lot of people absolutely loved it and it follows a girl named Gopi who's is it Gopi yes who whose mother's whose mother passes away and she has two siblings and it's really more of a it's a coming of age story it does have a lot to do with squash the sport but it, it, it is not a squash book I would more call it a character book about this girl who relies on a sport to get her through the grieving process and while I personally didn't love it, like I said, a lot of people absolutely did. So what's good for me though, is it means I don't need to read it because I have in fact already done so. We're done to only having to read 15 books, <laughs> which is fine. <laughs> okay, then we'll talk about the five books that are currently unavailable to me. My library doesn't have them. I have three, I checked three different library systems that I have access to. They're not available and it just is what it is. That's not true. I think one of them is available in physical form, but it is a library that I only use their electronic stuff, their eBooks, because I actually can't physically get to any of those libraries. I'm just able to have, they have like the reciprocal library program. So it's just not a book that's available to me. I have in fact submitted requests for all of these books to see if my library can purchase any of them. Again, I'm not sure if it's because of a publication dates. It's possible they're just not available in the States, but I put the five requests in. We'll see if anything happens of it, but let's go through those books really quickly. In Defense of the Act by Effie Black is actually a book that I sound, think sounds absolutely fascinating. You follow a girl named Jessica who is a suicide researcher, and I don't know what that entails, but it sounds like it could get pretty grim, and I think it sounds so interesting i'm really bummed that it's not one of the books that i have access to at this point but i'm hoping that maybe i'll get it i have never been approved for a library purchase before <laughs> so i'm not holding my breath but we'll see it is one that sounds really interesting and i'm very jealous of those of you who have that book in your hands i think it sounds really cool restless dolly Monder by kate by kate grenville so this is the one that is available in physical form that I was just talking about, but my library itself doesn't have any. So maybe there's potential that I'll be able to get a hand, my hands on it. But this book, I believe, is kind of just a, a woman's slice of life story. It sounds like she's just trying to make more of her life than she has. I don't really know. It sounds like it could be a little lighter, but not lighter necessarily, but... Um, not so plot driven, it might be more character driven. So it sounds kind of interesting. It's not one that's at the very top of my radar in, term, in terms of this list, but it sounds good enough. Soldier Sailor by Claire Kilroy. And as I mentioned in the actual reaction to this, this is, I believe, a stream of consciousness about motherhood and it is not available to me. I don't think it's in the States yet. Again, don't quote me on that, but I couldn't find it at any of my libraries. This is one that's actually pretty near the bottom of my of the TBR of what I would want to read from this list. So the fact that I don't have access to it doesn't really bother me. We'll see if it becomes available as time progresses. But for me personally, it's not a book that I'm super interested in, but it is a book that has a lot of buzz around it and people seem to really enjoy. So I think if that type of stream of consciousness type writing works for you, and obviously if motherhood that theme being really prominent works for you this could definitely be a book worth picking up the maiden by kate foster this is a historical thriller and apparently it's a based on a true story and it's really about giving voice to women who have been silenced through history i think it sounds absolutely incredible my library doesn't have it and that is such a bummer because again it's one that i think would have been really high near the top of the books i would have wanted to read off of this list 
and it is unfortunately one that I can't get. But I did put the request in. We'll see what happens. Fingers crossed. And then finally, in terms of books that I don't have access to right now, A Trace of Sun by Pam Williams, which sounds like a family story. Um, a mother goes to be with her husband and leaves the son behind. And then seven years later, they're reunited. But I guess something happens and splits them apart. It's about family relationships, I think, and it sounds like it could get a little traumatic. Again, it's a book that I think sounds interesting enough. It's not one, it's kind of more in the middling of my interest range in terms of this list of books, but it is one that unfortunately I don't have access to right now. I have put a request in for this one, we'll see what happens. And then next up we have the books that I have access to that I'm either waiting to come in or I'm on a bit of a wait list. Fortunately, none of the wait lists are too bad. I hopefully will get them before the long list is announced, but who knows? Library waitlist can move weirdly sometimes. So we have Eight Lives of a Century Old Trickster by Mirani Lee. As you saw previously in this video, I'm really, really excited about this book. It was already on my TBR. It's on a waitlist. I am number four in line. There is only one copy at my library. So it could take a couple weeks to get in, but you're following somebody named Ms. Ms. Mock. And I guess she's recounting her life. She's in a retirement home. And the obituarist, is that the word obituarist? Anyways, they're not totally sure if she's telling the truth, but it sounds really interesting. And like I said, it was one that I had already put on my TBR and now there is reason for it to stay on it. And then she fell by Alicia Elliott. This is a Canadian book. So obviously top of my want to read list, you're following Alice who is postpartum and I guess she's really struggling in life. And then weird things start to happen. It sounds like she has a husband who is white but he studies something to do with the Mohawk heritage and she is Mohawk. And I'm not really sure where that goes, but I imagine you'll get some indigenous in, um, imagery and storytelling in this book. And it just makes me really excited. Obviously having Canadian content on this list is incredible. And I very much look forward to reading this. I do have it at the library and it is on its way. Actually, it was available to me when I checked. So I should be able to pick that one up in the next couple days. We have Hangman by Maya Binyam. And this is, I'm just gonna read this really quickly. It is about exile, diaspora, and the search for black refuge. So what more could you want in a book? And I am first on the hold list. That one should get to me pretty quickly. River East, River West by Obey Ray Lescure. This is a book that, as I said previously from my predictions video was really, was predicted a couple of times, three times. It was on three people's predictions list. And it sounds like you're between two timelines 2007 in 1985 and you're following the story of I guess there's a girl like a stepdaughter in the first timeline I mean in the later timeline and then the stepfather in the earlier timeline I'm not totally sure it sounds really interesting the cover is really pretty and this is a book that I have definitely seen people talk about I'm very excited for this one The Blue Beautiful World by Karen Lord this is hold This is a climate change sci-fi book, but also has a pop star. It seems to be a bit all over the place. I am cautiously optimistic about this one. I think if it's done in an interesting way, it could be really great. But I also think there's a lot like going on and I'm not sure how that you, how you pull that off very well. So I am curious, cautiously curious about this book. And I do have it available right now. I'm actually a couple chapters into it. I read a couple uh, chapters over lunch, so we'll see how it goes. Enter Ghost by Isabella Hamond, a book with a lot of hype behind it. Hype is maybe not the right word. A lot of interest behind it. It seems to be a very of age, of now book that a lot of people want to read. It is about a girl, I don't know her name, but she, in her relationship with Palestine, I think she has to go back home and she's just rediscovering her relationship with her heritage. Again, just a book of the times and is definitely one that I think could say a lot of really important things. I have this book coming to me. It was available, so I should again get this book in the next couple days. Brotherless Night by V. V. Ganesh and Athen. I apologize. 
guys. And this is a book about um, a family in Sri Lanka and political, like some violent political, what do you say? And violent political ideologies. I think their family is really impacted by civil war that's happening in the area. Again, don't quote me on that for sure, but it's definitely a family story. And the title Brotherless Night doesn't make it sound like it's gonna be the happiest story in the world. Though I am concerned about this one just in terms of the emotional weight, but it is definitely a book that I think is one that I would naturally have wanted to read. So I'm excited about this one. And again, it is available at the library and will be coming to you very shortly. The Run the Run by Anna Enright. Again, a book that a lot of people put on their predictions list. So it was already on my holds. I believe it is coming maybe quite quickly. And this is a generational saga. I think you follow a daughter and her mother. Uh, Carmel is the mother and Nell is the daughter. I love the name Nell. I've always really enjoyed the name Nell. I think it's so pretty. And I guess their relationship and maybe other kind of relationships around them. I'm not sure, but it does say it's a generational saga. So we'll see how this one goes. Ordinary Human Feelings by Megan Nolan. As I said earlier, this is a book that was absolutely on my radar and I really, really would like to get to. It um, takes place in 1990 and you're following a crime reporter. So again, I imagine it's going to get pretty gritty, but I think it should be a really great read. And then finally, we have Night Bloom by Peace Adzo Medi. And this is a story of two cousins who grow up together and they're really close, but something happens and they fall out with each other. And it's just, I think, a story about them as people and women and what happened to their relationship. It's definitely a book that I am not surprised to see on the Women's Prize list when I heard the synopsis through people's predictions, because again, this was another book that a lot of people predicted. I, I felt like it really aligned with what you see on the Women's Prize. So I'm pretty excited to get my hands on that one. And again, I am first on the hold list, so I, so I should get it fairly shortly. But there we have this year's Women's Prize. I guess my goal is to read as many of these as possible. There's a lot of them. I'm dependent on the library, so I can only get a hold of the ones that I can get a hold of. But I'm excited about it, and we shall see where it goes. I guess updates will either be in, I don't know, monthly wrap-ups or as a separate kind of reading wrap-up. It'll depend on when the books get to me and what I can do with them. But thank you so much for being here. Um, to the people who came and have subscribed based on my video I just did about the Women's Prize predictions, I thoroughly appreciate it. If you guys could hit the like button, it just means the world. And if you're new and you want to subscribe, that would be pretty sweet. I'm always trying to just have fun and uh, books are reading are one of my favorite things to do. So why not talk about them? Anyways, I will see you in my next video. It probably won't be a Women's Prize video, but it should still be good. Bye.